Hello everyone and welcome back to another Space Engineers Massive Connelly Ship Build. So first thing first, I'm really sorry for not uploading episode 4 sooner, or part 4. I've been really busy with some stuff that I cannot wait to share it with you uh, in the next week or two. I just have to make sure I'm ready for it and I'm gonna announce it in a new channel update video that I'm currently working on. Hopefully I can release it, as I've said, in the next week or two. And I was also in vacation, so wasn't able to make video for a week and the aftermath after getting back home, basically. Anyway, enough with excuses, and let's get to the build. So in the older episodes, I mentioned that I want to design the engine pods in a way that I would be able to detach it from the main body of the ship, and basically reduce the weight so I would be able to land on planets and also leave the atmosphere easier without too much problem. But while I was working on, the dis working on it, I realized I there are a lot of empty spaces in the nasals and the whole engine pods. And I can't just fill it up with things. So right now I'm a little bit confused. I like the idea of having engine pods directly attached to the main body and move all the important systems like reactors, oxygen generators and tanks, hydrogen tanks, cargo, gyros, production, all of these inside the engine pods. And we can also cheat and hide thrusters inside of the nasals. Of course, I have to consider the thrusters damage. Anyway, this way I can save so much space for things like hangars, cryo chambers, entertainment area, medical and just many more, you name it. So I have to see how it all goes. Those engine pods wear a lot, so I have to hide thrusters inside them or just it's not gonna work. And not only that, I want to be able to land and leave atmosphere without problem with cargo that weight at least as same as the weight of the ship. So that's the challenge by itself. I'm thinking about um, ships that got a tons of thrusters, hydrogen thrusters, so we can actually get them out of the hangar, use merge block to merge them to the main ship and use those like a support ship and basically stop the ship from hitting the ground something like this would work as well those ships themselves can be super useful I have to wait and see what's gonna happen anyway so here I got too excited and went too crazy with the amount of jump drives and immediately game dropped frames so I have ended up removing two row and left the ones that are on the side. Oh, and covered the top with tons of solar panel and inside the nasals, tons of battery. So what I really had in my mind with engine pods design was something with tons of details and something that gives that industrial feels. And I also wanted to look beefy. Not a lot of people use round blocks and I understand why, it's really hard to use them effectively in medium sized ship. But here I have so much space that I decided to use round blocks extensively. And it looks cool I guess. The only problem is when you get away from it, the draw distance and the level of detail basically turn those 
and round blocks to slope blocks that's kind of a problem here so hopefully they can fix that if not then I might leave them I might change them we shall see how it goes so it rosters all large I'm trying to achieve somewhat decent maneuverability and good speed so far ship flies very nice in space with only one of the nacelles operational and so that's a very good thing So for the lower nasals I decided to change the design and instead of having flat, just flat row of thrusters I decided to create nozzles. Though it is impossible to create no round shape so I don't know if we can actually call it nozzle, you know, it's not rounded. Anyway. So if you haven't seen my last video, I recommend you watch it. While I was working on the engine parts, I realized that it is way too low. So I decided to move it up. And I guess I went up for like 5 blocks, I'm not sure. And you can watch the whole procedure in that video. You can check it up in the card up there. So this is it. Unfortunately, I ran out of recording time. It's been I think 8 hours. And, I, and unfortunately I didn't manage to finish the engine pods on time. So for the next episode I'm going to finish them, that's a must. And then we're gonna finish up the main body, hopefully within 3 episodes I'm going to wrap things up about exterior. So exterior need to be done and completely finished with details within 3 episodes. And then we are gonna start working on the interior. Oh boy, that's like I think gonna be 5 episodes at least the city that's gonna be a problem thankfully I haven't run into a lot of problem with the frame drops and simulation is beaten and stuff like that I am able I'm actually able to copy and paste the tree of this ship at this stage on the planets the sim drops to um, 0.7 so it's still playable I can still work on it it's not really a big deal but if it goes lower than that I have to see 
what I can come up with. Yeah, there's nothing else to say. So thanks for watching and if you guys have enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like. If you didn't, consider leaving a dislike. Just tell me know how can I improve it. And share it with your friends if you find these kind of videos interesting. Anyway, thanks for watching and sorry for my bad English, not my main language, but I'm doing my best here. Thanks again and stay safe. Bye-bye.